Greetings, turdlings, and welcome back to Podcastage 2, a.k.a. The Deuce. I'm back to drop another hot one on you, and today I want to address using a lavalier microphone with a USB sound card, amongst a couple of other things. First, using a lav mic with a USB sound card. Does it provide sufficient voltage or not? How does it sound? You are listening to it. Right now, I have the Rode Lavalier 2, I think is the model, clipped right to my shirt. That is connected directly to the AUMMSA. My level is set at around 60%, and this is the sound that we are getting. Does this sound acceptable to you? Is this unacceptable to you? Of course, the performance is going to differ from sound card to sound card, but I was kicking myself this morning as I, as I was waiting for my video to publish, realizing I didn't test a frickin' lav mic. How stupid am I? So this is me testing a lavalier microphone with a USB sound card. There you go. The second thing that I want to follow up with and address is using the USB sound card's mic input for a line level. I want to do this because I was using, and I still am using, the Universal Audio LA610 Mark II, and I can attenuate my signal at the compressor or the preamp stage to make sure I'm not distorting the A to D converter in the USB sound card. So to see if this can actually handle a line level input, I am running into the LA610 Mark II. I am then outputting line level into my Universal Audio X8 at a negative 10 dBV line level. And I am hitting around negative 6 to negative 3 dB. So this is quite hot. I could attenuate this a little bit more. I could engage a pad, but that is the level that I am getting. Now I'm going to switch to the sound card's mic input and see if we can actually handle this line level input. And now I have switched out the cable, so I am running XLR to 3.5 millimeter out of the LA610 Mark II directly into the microphone input of the Sabrent AUMMSA. My level is set at around 1%, and I cannot exceed around negative 6 dB. Ah! That's the loudest it can get. We're clipping like crazy, so I would need to attenuate my preamp on the output stage or somewhere in the signal path to ensure that the signal is not this hot. I am currently set at 3.5 on my compressor's gain section. Let's go ahead and roll this back to see if we can get it to a more reasonable level. I'd probably go right around here. My level is now set at 2. That might still be a little bit hot. Let's roll this back farther. We'll just go to 1. There, we're peeking around. Oh, gosh, the noise floor is just gonna, it's gonna be a terrible signal to noise ratio, but I think the conclusion is no. This cannot handle a proper line level input. So if you are going to be using an outboard preamp to run into this, make sure your outboard preamp has a master gain control or the ability to attenuate the signal at the last stage so you can still get a bit of that preamp coloration, which is why you're using that outboard pre, but then you're running it into <laughs> then you're running it into a $7. So this is stupid. You're not going to be doing this. You're not going to be doing this. I just wanted to find out if it did actually handle a proper line level. It doesn't. It doesn't. Nobody's going to be doing this. Why am I testing this? It doesn't matter. And finally, I want to offer a couple of corrections. First off, the lower third said 12-bit 48 kilohertz. I was not recording 12-bit 48 kilohertz. I was recording 16-bit 48 kilohertz. That is how I am recording this. 16-bit 48 kilohertz. It was not 12-bit. And the second correction that I want to make has to do with terminology. When I said gain or when the lower third said gain, it should not have said gain and I should not have said gain. It should have said level. These USB sound cards function as an analog to digital converter and they do not offer any kind of amplification. They have a set input level and when you're adjusting the input volume in your sound settings, that is just a fader. And to test this out and verify it, I played some pink noise through a speaker, threw a mic in front of it, set my input level at 100, 75, and 50%, captured some pink noise to level match in post, and some dead silence. And once I have level matched them in post, we should hear the exact same noise floor. And here is what I found.
And there you go. The noise floor was pretty much identical at 175 and 50 percent. That concludes that these devices have a set input level. And when you're adjusting your input volume in your sound source settings, it is just functioning as a fader. So I should have been saying level as opposed to gain. The second correction. And the third and final correction is in my main channel video. I was wearing my gray hoodie. Now I have put on my green hoodie. So all is right in the world. It is just very big and it makes the neck droop and it looks like I'm trying to be a hipster. I'm wearing a V-shaped neck. I swear, I swear to God, I'm not. Anyway, that is it for this video. I have nothing else. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye. Whoa, whoa.